Hi guys, welcome back to Daily Gaming. Uh, my name's Logan, and as I mentioned in the poll earlier, we're going to be doing a playthrough of uh, SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. I was excited to see this come out, not because like I'm a big SpongeBob fan or anything, but more along the lines of this game when it came out originally for the GameCube and the PS2 and stuff like that. It was okay, people seemed to like it, uh, but it was actually uh, revered a lot later as a speedrunning game, which is really cool. Welcome to Bikini Bottom. Now, I'm interested to see In how this holds up. Today it will be I'm really impressed that it's got voice acting in it. Horror, our will play the starring role. Ha ha ha! Today is the big day! I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula! Finally! And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well! <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command! One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one is Plankton a genius. Answer yes. Okay, checklist complete. Throw the switch. <laughs> That's a good checklist. I like that. Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army. Hang on. I want to get a photo for my scrap. Oh, hey, hello. I think the duplicator Tron what thing is smart. I'll explain in a sec. Plain to the genius, forgot to set it to obey. Not so much of a genius. Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. The facial yeah, animation's really good. Oh, yeah, I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Junior, or Zorlon, or maybe Frankie. Yeah, <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing at this, it's not that funny. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shellfish of you! <laughs> it's not just any. Oh, that's so it's silly. My magic wishing shell. Wow, that's great, Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay. If they don't come through the wall or something. And in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with. Oh. But Patrick, aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did. So, okay is the magic wishing word? Okay. It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisna Tikitana Fushbar Griddle Bits Von Wiedeschnauzer, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this will work? Sure. Last week, I only had one big cookie crumb and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell. Then I said the magic wishing word and shook it. And in the morning, I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. The next morning. <laughs> gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with. Wow! Uh, Gary, did you do that? Your bikini bottom stinks. Oh, I get it. That's a pun. That's kind of funny. Hopefully it brings us through yeah, to the gameplay. Gary. Yep. It sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm going to have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. You are. I'm going to teach you. What a fantastic idea. These signs. Um, Watch me not read, read any of the signs. The signs. Press A. Is it oh, press A? Okay. Oh, I'll be. This meow. meow. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just I'll be. walk up yeah. to you and press this button. Explore the kitchen. Where am I? How can I explore the kitchen? Explore the bedroom. Oh, okay, so this is like learning how to control your character sort of thing. You got a double jump. You've got your spin thing. I think that's a big part of why this was so big in the speedrunning community is the fact that uh, they, they, they realized you would cover a lot of air, uh, or a lot of distance with that sort of jump. So I need 50 to get out of here. So can I go in here? I need nothing. More shiny objects. Go through the only door that's open. All right. Uh, okay. 
with the um, what I was saying about the uh, Robotron thing, it's kind of smart in the sense that like video games don't often tell you that like, hey, you're going to have infinite Goombas or infinite whatever to be fighting. Uh, but saying that it's robots and it's a cloning machine really kind of helps sort of... I don't know how to describe it exactly, but like it makes sense. It makes sense in the game. So I feel like that's a little bit more important, sometimes at least. How do I read it? Let's read this sign. Okay, press RT. And it'll show me what I've got and what I don't have. Nice. Can I free... Okay. It's got smart camera mode on by default, so I don't know how good that's going to be in actually maneuvering it, but it seems pretty okay so far. Nothing around here. Can I open fridges and stuff? No. Nope. What are you going to tell me? These shiny objects are very valuable, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Can I now go in the 30 door? 10 door. Okay, cool. Nice. So I need three of these. Or I don't need three of these. What do I do? Come on, sign, help me out. This is a pair of SpongeBob's underwear. You will lose pair of underwear every time you get hit by robots that are dangerous or dangerous like this. Okay, once. So that's your health. Cool. He starts up already three pairs of underwear. <laughs> okay. Press RT to see how many pairs of underwear you have. Oh, it's in the top corner. I've got two out of three. Fresh, like a spring breeze. Nice! Okay. Is this going to tell me I can jump on the bed? A, R, uh, to double jump. Okay, cool. No, just double jumping. Nice. Yep, okay. Is there anything else in here? Or is it just teaching me about my health? Maybe if I get up here... And then, like, look around. I'd say this room is pretty done. Press RB to change room. Okay, cool. Oh, it's getting more complex. It's got an X here. Press Y on the ground to do a bubble bash attack. You can smash things or robots or push buttons that are directly above SpongeBob. Okay, directly above SpongeBob, so. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Ah. Push, 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 push. Nice. That's got a lot of height, that attack. I love opening presents. A lot of height. Okay, and it's B to, to smash down. This is cool. I like how this controls. I kind of wish I played the um the original one on the on the GameCube now to, to be able to directly compare it, but it is actually pretty... For a simple platformer, I like the fact that they've actually put in a lot of effort. They've put all the voice acting in. Um, I was playing Jump Force not too long ago, and I noticed that a lot of them, the voice acting wasn't there, the song was always the same. Little things like that, that sort of put you off. But this is actually... They've put a lot of care into this. And the fact that it was a cheap game too... What do I do with this? Yeah, this is only around, like, Australian 40 bucks. So, in America, etc., that is uh, a lot less. Maybe like 25, 30. So that's very, very... There's one up there. I need the ball. Okay. I figured it out. Big brain moments just here. Let's go. Push it along. Jump, jump. Jump, jump. Oh, like a pro. Nothing else up here? There's a switch over there. Can I get to it? I need the ball. <laughs> Again, it's the same puzzle, but I figured it out, so I feel good. And there's more platforms. Okay. On a timer. I don't like that, because how do I get up there? Can I just use this to get up there? No. Where's the lowest point? Over here. Oh, the pressure's really on. 14, 13. I don't know if I'm going to make it. Of course I'm going to make it. Needs to do laundry. And there's one over here that I need to... Oh, and another switch. Let's just... Come on, come on. You've got this. I get them all. I did get them all. Okay, cool. And this one... <laughs> drops it down. Okay, I didn't have to do it the hard way. Is that right? Yeah, it's absolutely right. didn't have to do it the hard way. But it's done. I think that's everything in this room. I already pressed that switch before. Maybe a little bounce on the old bed. Maybe a little bounce on the old bed. Maybe not. Can I go in here? No. Nah. Little reference from the TV show. That's nice. Let's go through here. I don't talk to you, Gary. Do I have enough to go in here? Yes, I do. There's the gold spatula. There we go. Achievement unlocked. I'm already feeling good. 
And what does this say? Grab the spatula. No. So the need to unlock new areas of Bikini Bikotima, SpongeBob will need to collect many golden spatulas in order to find defeat the Sorcerer and Pidgey Robots. Okay, nice. Very nice. So now I can go into the one door with the golden spatula. I can exit the, the home and start the game. That's pretty good. That's a nice way to, to introduce you to the mechanics of the game. Without being too daunting. There's nothing like the sounds of your own neighborhood. There's no way, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. Oh, you got free. You got free from the robots. Don't steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. <gasps> robots, the wish came true. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. How dare they? They even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. <laughs> That's terrible. Aw, oh, poor Plankton. Oh, won't you help me stop them before they bend all my forks? Not the forks. Of course I'll help. Oh. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you can get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. Does he actually have a bucket? Dreams. Oh, no, he doesn't. You've got a deal. Nice. Okay, cool. Now, I was saying that this game, uh, oh, cool. This game came from an original. Hey, SpongeBob, I just dropped by to give you a bubble hand. Bubble buddy. You see, you're going to need to learn some <laughs> bubble buddy. That's moves nice. If you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man. But, uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle. Uh, something about new- Right! Press this button, and you'll launch yourself straight up in the- Oh, does that mean I can do that, that, and then that, that, and then jump? No, I can't. Okay, but still. Ah, uh, it's just telling you how to use the same thing. In case you weren't paying attention inside the house, there's another way to do it. Cool. Nifty. So, like I was saying before I was interrupted by Mr. Bubble Man and the Monkey Ninth Dimension stuff, uh, is that this game is also very broken and it's very 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 easy to beat this game in around five minutes uh, now I'm not gonna do that on this run uh, but I will do it maybe in the, in the next video or one after it depending on how this goes uh, but I think it's nice to know that there's there's ways around it which kind of make it a bit different so you can see there's the, the golden spatulas we'll go to the one that's open for the taxi and there's a way so Press RB. Very nice. This looks like it could be a lot of fun, actually. I'm going to enjoy playing this through and beating it. Ah, the rolling green hills ah, not yet. jellyfish fields. A place to experience nature at its most raw. And sometimes a bit tender from the stings. There's another duplicator tron. So I feel like if you break that. Save him. Come on, SpongeBob. Just the worst day. I know he's a bit of a sad sack, but like you feel bad for him sometimes. Squidward, are you okay? Yes, he's totally fine. I'm, why did would you even ask? No, I'm not okay, you <laughs> head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according That's great. to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King j j Jellyfish? Well, I guess you're off to scale Spork Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here. Bald up here in excruciating pain. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward! I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. What the hell? Why did he go in a weird superhero voice? Alright, let's go, Squidward. I'm here to save the day. So it's one of those things where, like, you've obviously you can just smash the platforms, but if you don't look above them first, you're gonna miss out on these little little shiny things. Uh, so you won't be able to get them on the level. 
Robots! I can finally play with robots. I've wanted it all of five minutes, and now I can't get enough of it. This is goo! Can't swim. Don't let him fall in the goo. Okay. I live underwater. Can't swim. Of course. Now can I get on top of this? I can. Yeah. Maybe if I jump even higher. No. Okay, cool. And we'll smash it with B. Nice! This is a teleport box. You have both teleport boxes. The area may teleport between them by jumping inside. Cool. Good to know. That's a box. Oh. Oh, this is a teleport box. Okay. <laughs> I was like, the sign's a teleport box, but... I kind of want that sock. But, I mean, if I can't swim, how do I get it? I don't think I should just jump in. You know, actually, I always wondered this when I first started a game. What happens when I die? Let's find out by going for this. He flatlines and just tips over. Okay. Very nice. That's pretty nifty. If I break these, do I still get more stuff? I do. Okay. Maybe there's not X amount of um, shiny things per level. I'll figure out how to get over there eventually. That's my mission for this episode. If I can get through and figure it out, we I'll be one happy lad. I'm going fishing for robots. You are going fishing for robots, my good man. I see some robot parts. Can I get up here? Nice. More. They give you a lot of health, which is very handy. I mean, I don't need it because I'm an absolute pro, but it's good, it's good to have. Is this bouncy? It is, with some more health. Did I miss these boxes? I did. And a robot again. And a jellyfish again. Okay. Back on track. Oh, I can get behind it. I'm sure there's a better way to get around some of these platforming, but I, I feel like... The better I get at it, the easier I'll figure the mechanics out and uh, make the most optimal way. It's not like when you're playing um, uh, Odyssey and you can roll around everywhere. Here I think it's mostly running and jumping. Yeah, we'll get on top of you. What's the big jump button? Very nice. Super combo. I like that it rewards you for being able to do stuff like that. Can you use it to jump as well or is it only nah, just straight up and down? Okay, still nice touch though. Okay, I think I have to jump on top of these with double jumps. Okay, okay, okay. I kind of hate all of this. If I break it though, it's going to kill me. Maybe because I just use it to get on the tree and then go about my day. 125. I can afford it. Easy. <laughs> you just got some random plane driving over and just dropping it off. That's nice. Do a big jump. Solid. Give me a combo. Okay. Very sparkly. Here we go. I'm just going to break you. So, oh, there's heaps of them. I wonder, that kind of reminds me a little bit like Spyro the Dragon with the whole like pay money bags to like unlock a bridge and stuff like that. Like, I mean, this one built it. Hey. See, again, I don't want to fall down here, but, like, there's a spatula down there. So I kind of do want to fall down there. Did I get it? Nope. I missed it and I flatlined. Okay. Not worth it. Worth it a little bit, but not worth it enough to actually die. Oh, mega combo. Super monster combo. Okay. Okay. I'm learning. Oh, it just sent me back the other way. It's like, no, you obviously can't do this area yet, so leave. So, I'm going to take your advice, game. I'm not going to recollect everything that I've already got, because I'm pretty I'm pretty stacked up on the, on the little item things for now. I still haven't been hit by an enemy yet. I wonder how long that's going to last. Could this be a... <laughs> I, don't think, I don't count dying, really. Checkpoint! Nice, okay. That sign is going to explain how checkpoints work, but... This is not my first rodeo. I know exactly how checkpoints work. Very good. Come on, come get some. Combo, super combo. I am the man. Can I break this? Can I close this? Can I do anything with this? Nope, it's just there to look cool. Where am I supposed to be going? Top, top of the mountain. That's right, to see the king jellyfish. We can get this done. Can I climb up here? Can I cheese it up here somehow? I feel like I can. Hey, there we go. I don't really like playing the games the way that, like the game intends you to do it. If I can figure a shortcut out, I will. I absolutely will. Is there any cheese it up there? Like by going up there? I think so. No. No. 
No, nope, not happening. Okay. Well, let's keep going this way and see what happens. Oh, got to hang to the left. They're I was about to say, oh, they're very bouncy, but I just realized they're big fish, so... Still haven't taken damage. Oh, and I'm not going to today. Definitely not going to. Can I break this so it doesn't just keep shooting them? Hey, one hit. SpongeBob is strong. It's been working out. Hey, Gary, what's shaking? Jump for a golden ah, that's treasure. how I get it. I must be in heaven. Nice. Okay, cool. Now, where is that bungee jump? Over here. Are you going to explain how the bungee jump works? Just jump and touch it. To dive down, press A. To exit, press B. Okay, cool. So. Oh, okay. And I can use it to collect all these things. So if I hold A, I go all the way to the bottom, and then exit, B. Cool. Nice. Spatula number two. That's already like 90% of the game done. I mean, it's probably not, but you know what? I make the rules. I'm going to say it is. So top of the mountain, top of the mountain. Come on, let me, let me, let me get it to the top of the mountain. No, okay. I've got to go the proper way, which is which way? For real, which is the proper way. I smash the thing here. And then I went up this way. Saw the bungee thing. Do I supposed to go up here? Do I supposed to go up here? It's great English. Okay, here we go. No? Doesn't even let me climb that. No, okay. Out of bounds. Not supposed to be there. King jellyfish to the left. Okay, let's drop down, I guess. Seems safe enough. Okay. Oh, oh, a bit, bit glitchy there. I got the uh. These pants are square, and this sponge is Bob. I will not let Bikini Bottom down. Ah, raise the platforms. Nice. That's a cool touch though, with that little hand of the the artist coming through to be able to save you if you go out of bounds and stuff. It's very nifty. If I hold Y, was it right, right trigger? Okay, it doesn't say how many lives I have. I think it's infinite. Another checkpoint. Solid. Oh. And he's <laughs> She's just watching. Alright. So that's warning me not to get hit by him. Okay, easy enough. I saved you! <laughs> oh, that's slack. But it feels so good. Super monster combo. I think that's the best one I've gotten so far. But there will be others. What's up, little robot fam? Dead. So many. This is going to be one of those ones where it's like a collectathon, a little bit like Banjo Kazooie, where you're going to be going around every nook and cranny trying to find all the stuff to 100% to, uh, of the game. I wonder if you get a different ending or anything for 100%ing it. I don't know. All these things I will find out as the game progresses. Oh, that looks like bowling pins. Do I. Yes, I do. And then I. Okay. Okay. Maybe I should read the sign. Need to know the Bob Bowling move in order to play the game. Okay, so I don't have that, so... It's not going to help me. Am I going to learn it from down here? Maybe not. Is that it? Was it just for three of these? Do I drop down further? Okay, no. Nope. Out of bounds. Nice. Thanks for warning me, game. Could make stuff a different color or something, but no. I'm going to go through so many lives in the first level. But I've got to experiment. Can I speak to you now that I've saved you? No. Okay, I can't speak to you. Bang. 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 Oh. Solid. We've got a thousand of these things. Very nice. So I'm just going to follow the little platform things and see how far up I can go. I reckon it's going to be pretty, pretty good if I can manage to get my way all the way through it. My suppose oh, okay. Only for health though, it would have been cooler if it was something different. But you know what? I'll take it. Come on, last one. Give it to me. Thanks, mate. Okay. Don't fall in the water, probably. Hey, 
Not gonna read the sign. Oh, there we go. First hit of the game. And we're only, what, 20 or so minutes in? That's not too bad. I feel like if you fall in that water, it's gonna you take you to like, either earlier in the game or total death. Do we wanna find out? I don't really wanna find out, to be honest. Nah, it's total death. I can see there's no other uh, environment down there. Okay, here we go. Wish there was a way to sprint in this game, to be honest. I feel like a new sponge. There's my teleporter box, taking back to the start. Very nice. Very nice indeed. One, two, three. That's great. And here's that duplicator thing. And it's busted. Oh, oh no. One bit of health left. I shouldn't have mocked all those health pickups earlier on. If only there was a box that would teleport me back earlier in the game. Golden spatula, boy. Smashed it. Oh no, not the end. Press RB to travel to jellyfish caves. You know what? I will. Wow, mermaid man. I have all your comics and toys and mail. <laughs> and mail. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's that sponge kid. And now, what was I supposed to tell you? That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Huh? Oh, no. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Oh, poor SpongeBob. Oh, they're making me hit myself. Massaging your feet isn't working. <laughs> I think I'd better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Here I come, Patrick! Oh, that's awesome. That's cool. Now, did I miss something? Was Patrick kidnapped? Oh, another one. Cool. Press RB to read. This is a slide. Okay, cool. So I can slide down here. On my tongue. Nice. Do I just hit stuff? Yeah, okay, cool. I'm just going to keep hitting stuff. I can't attack while I'm down here. Can I double jump? I can. Okay. He's got a little bit of speed to him. Not much. That was a ton of fun. Oh. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, sack. I mean, it's like sad, but sick. So I said sack. Why not? Okay, let, let's slide down again and see if we can get a better reaction. If I hold forwards, do I go a bit quicker? It, all signs point to, I don't know. I kind of want to see if I can go up the beaten path. Because I saw that pickup over there to the right. So if I jump. Oh, I missed it. But I got the checkpoint. I need to get Patrick to help him, but he's unreachable. Maybe these switches will create a way. Robots are guiding them heavily. You have to battle through. Nice. Like a battle for Bikini Bottom. Am I right? Am I right? That was terrible. But you know what? I don't care. Give me some underpay. I don't need it anymore. Very nice. Break you. One switch down. What did it do? We'll find out later. So when I break it, it must like instantly respawn whatever I've killed. Yeah. As long as you approach them straight on, they're not really much of a threat at all. Unlike earlier when I died, I was wasn't paying attention. So I'm going to go this way. Yep. See you, lads. Jump. Even the grass and stuff, like, it's very nice. Like, I know it's it's kind of silly to say of a game these days, but it looks way better. If you compare this to the Let's Play I did before on Castlevania, it's like a 34, 36-year-old game. Oh, they explode. Okay, watch out for that. Um, and you get to see how far how far we've come. Can you get down here? No, you cannot. Oh. It is a bit daunting hearing those big smacks, though, so I'll break you. Press that. But uh like it's nothing. Okay. So what? Like a spring breeze. Yeah, here we go. Dead. Dead. Okay, now let's head and save him. Save the day. Tell my friend that the robot wish worked. And then hopefully we can get on with our adventure. Hey, SpongeBob. Whew, thank 
goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Well, the robot and the... Oh, yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but it looks important. Thanks, it's very Patrick. much like Spyro. I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Oh, I get to play as Patrick. Okay. Okay. Nice. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Good job, Patrick. Playing the game for one second and you already got a spatula. Smashing it. So my attack is... A belly punch. Okay. He can still do the smash, but he can't do that big high jump. So shiny. What do I do? This is a throw fruit. Okay, well, I press B to pick up a nearby throw fruit. And press B again to throw it. Gotta use it quickly, but you can use it to kill stuff. You gotta carry a lot of stuff around. Nice. Cool. He doesn't feel as nice to control, but like... The fact that the, the variation is there alone is great, but it's still it's still solid. It doesn't feel bad. It's just SpongeBob has a nice, more floaty look. There's a button there. I need to throw throw fruit. Up, oh, or I'll just break the throw fruit. I need to throw fruit. Jump, 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 jump. Can I aim it? What's going on? I just throw it over here. Okay, cool. And then throw it over here. And then quickly before it disappears. Okay. Oh, that's why there's a time limit. It's all making sense. So let's go up here. Throw it to there. I was wondering why the icon came up straight away. So just put it down there, but... So you can't jump with it. Smashed it. Here we go. And if I stand on this and then throw it, it's going to launch me. That was pretty self-explanatory. Picture of a star. It's a seesaw. Checkpoint. What's this? There's a thunder tiki. When Patrick touches it, it will begin a storm after a few seconds will go boom. Don't be near it when it goes boom. So, touch it. Oh! Oh, don't, don't belly slam it. Just touch it. Okay. That's much better. So if I just touch it. This one goes boom. Hey, you barnacle head. Watch where you're going. The rock is oh. talking to me. Oh, mighty rock. I am at your command! <laughs> Down here, you big pink lummox! Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? He's so, he's so polite. So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. <laughs> Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the- Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop. Oh, thank you. Okay, cool. So let's go through. Ooh. Hey, my back yeah. feels better. Nice. I fixed my back. Ooh, scary dark oh, don't touch those. Oh. I feel like this is one of those ones I could just sort of freeze through. Yep, you're dead, you're dead. Throw fruit, what are we going to throw it at? That button up there, and then the other button to the right of it. Oh no. The same one. To the right of it. No, to the right of it. Come on, Patrick, what are you doing? Nice, first try. So it's all about timing. One, two, three. A. Can't really break those. I'm just gonna avoid these fire things because they don't seem like a good time. Same thing as before, throw it on the platforms. Yep. Ah, oh, butt slammed it, damn it. Okay, let's go back. Come on, Patrick. Now don't sit on it. We just wanna get ahead. Am I supposed to throw it at that? Ooh, Was that it? Was just for that? Not worth it. Let's keep going. Checkpoint! Oh, 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 we don't like that. It's a lot of spikes. A lot of potential death to be had. Oh, I'm gonna make it. I'm just gonna do a runner. Quick, 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 quick. Smashed it. Nice. Let me through, let me through. A. Oh, no. Okay. Not a game to disrest through everything with. But. So I'm gonna touch it. I wanna see what happens. Oh, that's awesome. That is heaps cool. I take it back. Now it makes sense why I threw the uh, watermelon at it. Oh, I'm going to throw it on it. It'll push the switch. Very nice. 
Now what are you going to tell me? Something useful, I hope. But you can also jump on and throw fruit to get higher places. You may stack throw fruit as well. Okay, cool. Good to know. So we'll throw it over here. Now I can jump on it. I also know I can break them. And I can stack them. So if I put it over here. Nope. If I put it over here. And actually jump up. And if I stack it again. I can get a sock. Have you been hey. there Let's go back. I was hoping there was going to be a reason for getting the... What are you... Whoa! Whoa! Big big throw, mate! Big throw! What are you... What drugs are you on? I don't need to throw it over here. I just need it to go here. There we go. I don't like if I'm holding forwards against the wall. It just sort of clips me into it. So I throw it over here. I'll throw this one on top of it. It's got the lock on, so straight away, it'll make sure that you never... How many of these do I have to carry? I don't want to get in it, because I'm kind of... Oh, another slide one. Nice. Do I need some underwear? Doesn't matter. Got it anyway. Jump. Jump, jump. I don't want to touch them, because I'm just going to smash straight through them at this point. Hey, solid. Very nice. There's a freezy fruit. Patrick can pick up freezy fruit and throw it. The freezy will, will temporarily freeze goo. Okay. So I can use it to get stuff that's like out of the middle of there. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Okay. Oh, it's very generous at the time. 2. And I'm just going to go back and do it again. Can I attack enemies with a freezy fruit? No, I cannot. I don't think I needed it for anything else apart from that, to be honest. A few belly flops that can damage or stun them. Okay, so I can stun them as well. Whoa! Or I can just totally annihilate them. I can use it to kill that and not get uh, injured by the explosion. That's a that's an OP move. That's great. I kind of like the forward attack as well, to be fair, but I like how it gives you the option. Oh, it gives you the options for being able to attack him. Like, if you want to use, uh, you know, this or the items or your your slam, the possibilities are endless. Well, let's pick this up, push that switch that I was eyeing off a second ago. Hopefully, this lets me walk up. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to break it, but you guys keep respawning. But I need to get up here, so... I'll try it again. Nah, they respawn straight away. So I've got to... Oh, you know what? Not worth it. Press RB to reveal jellyfish lakes. Tells me you're looking for the king jellyfish. Oh, that voice acting is not quite right. Yes. Or that. Good thing too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. Ooh. I hear that you can find him up top of Old Sport Mountain here. That's really oh, bad. That beast, sailor. Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. And that's back to good acting. Wonder if it was like placeholder placeholder vocals for some of them. Uh, like they've just put it in there and be like, we have to record over this later. But for now, we'll just use, you know, whatever. He's got caviar? Vinegar? What is that? What a sharpshooter. I am absolutely terrified. Come on. Oh, he shoots at you straight away. Okay, yeah, that is a bit. And he takes two hits. Okay, that's a bit interesting. Here we go. I don't need to go. I've sort of lost 
the whole goal. I'm just following the thing because everyone's telling me what to do. It told me uh, Plankton said I'd be able to beat beat um. Hello, Patrick. I've got a job for you to do. Oh boy! I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. If you can figure out how to get it, show enough, Mrs. Puff. That's very gangster. Show enough, Mrs. Puff. If I can figure out how to get it, it's all mine. Well, I mean, I'm just gonna be the only person who's gonna figure it out anyway. Oh, it's just gonna keep throwing enemies at me. Okay. What is a whistle? So it's like a little battle royale thing, I guess. So I can see him getting perpetually launched over here. Or am I supposed to just kill them and then continue on? Now that's where I started. So if I go back here... Oh, that was lucky. If I had like a throwing fruit or something, I could actually hit him over there, but sadly not. Nah, you know what? I'll come back when I can figure it out. I feel like... You can learn more skills and stuff. That's what I was going to say. This game is very, very much like Spyro. Press RB to swap characters. Nice. Um, with the whole doing little missions for people, uh, learning skills along the way, like Banjo Kazooie as well. So these ones hide from you. Okay, interesting. Um, is there any incentive to actually killing him? <gasps> okay, apart from revenge. Jeez. Too pretty. Lucky. Take it. I feel like a new sponge. Another checkpoint. I'm just gonna keep dashing through. I feel like I'd definitely be able to Yeah, look at that. I'm untouchable if I keep jumping. I like how Spongebob's so wholesome, he's doing all of this just to help out his friend Squidward. What a nice guy. Another one of those duplicator things. Oh. Okay, so if I touch the one in the middle... And then... Whoa, walk away! There we go. Okay, a Super Monster Combo for sure is the best one you can get. What are you going to give me for 150 clams? An open door. Worth a... Oh, that's a seesaw one. We're getting a lot higher. I'm going to see King Jellyfish and be able to get exactly what I need. One, two, no, nah, you know what? Not worth it. Okay, so if I had Patrick here, I could have used the other fruit. Oh, three. I wonder if they only disappear when they see certain people. Like, if they see Patrick, are they going to disappear as well? Fresh, I'm not like too sure. Breeze. Does he have any other one-liners for picking up his underwear? Because I've only been playing it for a little while now. And it's already like getting a little bit... Sponge. It's getting a bit uh, repetitive. Oh, we're getting higher, we're getting higher. Where does this lead? I keep jumping. I can. Oh no! Oh no! I can. I can. Oh, get up! 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 You can sort of reset the trampoline, is what I was going to say. But unfortunately, straight away led to instant death. Okay. I don't like having to touch these in order to trigger him to walk away. Reminds me a little bit of the TNT in the Crash Bandicoot games. Another bus. I could change back. I kind of like... I like playing as Spongebob. Here, you can jump up walls and disappear. So, oh, so you can wall jump like Mario. Nice. Only on walls with arrows, but still. Whoa, that's a cool wall jump. I like that. It's very quick. Nope, just do a runner. I'm getting heaps far. This is good. Step quietly there. 
That king jellyfish is just up at the top of this pad. Oh, we're gonna get to him, Good and luck. we're gonna beat him. You'll need it. Thanks, Bubble Butt. Uh, okay. That's cool. When you can see a bunch of health pickups and stuff when you're leading towards a boss, it's called door shadowing because they know that you're gonna get annihilated a lot, so they try to prepare you for it. The singing of this uh, jellyfish kick is weird. I knew the king jellyfish was big, but who knew he had such a beautiful voice? <laughs> Slap him. Okay. Slap him again. Okay. So get away from not to be electrified, I imagine. Probably a good thing. It's got a little hit point thing down in the corner, that's nice. It's a bit handy. Music's very, uh, hey, here we go. Oh, you cheeky so-and-so. I'm really not having a good time with this. I want to hit you, but you're... There we go. Oh, and he drops underpants. He has dropped some underpants. I feel like a new sponge. Oh, he's hammering out a little, little blue jellyfish. But we can handle it. Oh, no, we can't handle it. This is a terrible idea. I regret everything. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, I missed the double jump. And I'm dead. Okay. King jellyfish, I'm coming for you. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. This will be it. This will be the boss. Nice. It introduces you, gives you the music straight away. Wait, double jump now. Very good. I'll save that because I don't need it, obviously. The sound of him giving birth to jellyfish is a bit weird. I do like the generous hits on his spinning attack, though. Two hits, no damage. Okay, doing way better than we did the first time. Go on and squid out a bunch of little blue mates. They're not going to make a difference. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice seven extra enemies to make the game interesting. Hit me, hit me, hit me. I dare you. Double jump. That was quicker than last time. Hey, jellyfish jam. <laughs> He's got to think of it. But nice. I'm confused. Did he move house or did he just go to work with that little, um... Nice! It shines! I got it. Now I can teleport back to the beginning with that bloody box. And then, hey ho, what do you know? Squidward's nose will be fixed. And we can get you new the game. That's pretty great. Is there a quick way to get down? Oh, <laughs> I think of one quick way to get down. Probably not the best way to get down. What's the go, buddy? Nicely done, little yellow friend. Thanks. Appreciate it. And there was a box just back here, I'm pretty sure. The little imagination box. That's a nice touch, by the way, for being able to fast travel around the place, having the imagination boxes. I think it's very, very creative. Good way to integrate it into the... Oh, oh, smart camera. Oh, smart camera failed me again. I want to jump down. Oh, that's why, because it was that wall jump area. Where is the nearest smart box thing? Can I jump across? I can, and I can make it. Oh, this is going the way I came, so... Fresh like a spring breeze. Oh, 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 oh. I don't want to die now that I have the jellyfish stuff. I just want to get back to the start of the first level. I'm pretty sure. Unless I've confused myself with what I'm supposed to be doing. 
Which is also very possible because I have a thing where I seem to get lost a lot. So checkpoint. Nah. Nah. Back this way. There's got to be a box. There's one. I can see it. I can see it in my mind's eye. Beautiful. Jump in. Nope. I don't want to go here. Oh, because I've gone into a new area every time. Does it take me to like... I feel like a new sponge. Does that mean I have to go all the way up to the top? If I pause it. Mermaid lair. Where was I? Bikini bottom. Rock bottom. So I think this is the final level. So when you press A, you see you, can't, you haven't received the task. But there's a way to get around that. But... Sponge's closet. Where? Top of the hill. Okay, straight away. Hit the taxi jellyfish fields? I sure will. Because I want to give him the jellyfish stuff. Hopefully I brought it with me. Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels so much better. Anything for my best friend Squidward. Can I rub some on? Um, what if I just gave you this? Golden spatula, golden spatula, golden spatula. Hey. Very nice. So all those little tasks for people obviously will give you gold spatulas, which I think you can use to access different levels of the game. Well, that's cool. This has been a lot of fun. Uh, look, if you want to see more of this, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, like it. Subscribe if you want to see more of this in the future. Uh, make sure you can cop some merch. There is a new design that's out now. I've been Logan from Daily Gaming. Have a fantastic day.